Welcome back to the Rex Rents Garage. On this episode, I'm gonna talk about my new Rogue Fabrication M625 Extreme Heavy Duty Bender. I bought my original M600 tubing bender from Rogue Fab over 10 years ago when they first started making benders, and I've used the heck out of it. I built everything from roll cages, XO cages, tube beds, uh, shock hoops, rock sliders, bumpers, tire carriers. I built a chair. I've used it extensively, and I have quite a bit of experience on this type of machine from Rogue Fabrication. So you might be wondering, you know, if this machine's so great, why do you have a new one? Um, that reason being, there's nothing wrong with my old one. It still functions great. I wanted the capability to be able to bend thick, uh, heavy walled steel tubing like a control arm or a panhard. So I want to be able to bend quarter wall tubing. Anything that comes through that shop door, I'm gonna be able to put a bend in it. I've been using Rogue Fab tools for over a decade now, so I'm definitely qualified, I think, to make a review on this now. But here's a top 10 list of what I love about my Rogue Fabrication Bender. So to start off our list, I'm gonna use a word that I really hate, and that's prosumer. But I think that perfectly describes this bender. Whether you are a hobbyist, and you're just bending a couple tubes here and there on different projects, or you are a professional fabricator and you're going to be bending nonstop, this bender is gonna be able to cover all those avenues. Now, Rogue Fabrication, they have multiple options, whether it's the 601, 605, or the 625 like this one. You can get a machine and it can grow with you and your hobby or business as you see fit. So they have many different options and all that kind of stuff. For the price point that this comes in at, you really cannot beat that in the tube bending market. The ninth reason why I recommend the Rogue Fab Bender is the ecosystem. When you buy one of these benders, you're not just investing in a tool, but like I like to call it an ecosystem for your fab shop or your garage, whatever it may be. One question you need to be asking when you're looking at benders are, are the dyes I want available? Um, are they affordable? And are they gonna be able to do what I want them to do? Now, Rogue Fab answers yes to all these questions. They have a range of dyes. They are affordable and they have roller dyes. You could easily buy more clamp blocks, followers, anything like that effortlessly. And that's been a real big plus for me. Also, this bender, you're investing in an ecosystem, not just a tool. I mean, look at this. Yeah, you could build a cart for your bender, no problem, but check out this rack that they make for it. It holds all your tools. It's got a spot for your notcher. This is your one-stop shop for basically tubing fabrication, in my opinion. I mean, it's gonna save me space in the garage and increase my efficiency when I'm doing tube work, which are huge pluses. The eighth reason why I recommend the Rogue Fab Bender is strictly for the ability to make a bend in a piece of tubing. You could pull it out, walk over to wherever you're working, test your fit up. Uh, if it's not, if you don't like it or anything like that, or you need to bend more, you can just walk right back to your machine, put it in there, put a little bit more bend into it, and take it out again. Obviously you can't unbend anything, but any of you guys that have ever done any tube work before know how huge it is to be able to take your material out quickly, test your fit up or whatever you're doing, and then you could, if you need to, you could bring it back to the machine and get a few more degrees put into it, anything like that. It is That is huge to be able to do that. And a lot of the tubing benders on the market, you really can't, you, you don't have that ability, but just with the way this is designed to where that clamp block goes on the front and is bolted on like that, like yeah, I could walk up, test fit it on something, anything like that, and that is a huge, huge benefit of this machine. Over the 10 years I've been using their tools, there's been a couple times where I've contacted them via email or just calling them, and I've had great experiences and gotten my questions answered very quickly over the phone or like I said, on email. To me, that goes a long way nowadays, especially most times you call a company, you're gonna get some automated machine or you're gonna get someone that has absolutely no idea about their product. But anytime I've contacted Rogue Fab, I either get the owner uh, or I get people that are very knowledgeable about their tools. The next reason that makes this bender badass are these roller pressure dies and the ability to do an S-bend. So you can see this tube, we just have one bend in it and we got a clamp block on it. But check this out. How nice is that? That is sick. And you could get some nice intricate tube geometry going on with this capability. 
The fifth reason why I recommend this Rogue Fab Bender, if you use code RECKLESSWRENCH22 at checkout, you're gonna get $25 off a bender or a notcher. My fourth reason for recommending this tubing bender is a big one for me, and that is a vertical bend plane. So some benders on the market, you load the tubing in and it bends it horizontally. As you guys have seen, this thing bends it vertically, so your tube's gonna go up on the bend. Now, why does this matter? Uh, number one, most places have more ceiling space than they do wall space surrounding you, so if you get a horizontal bender, you need a bunch of room around it. Not that big of a deal, but mainly the big thing for me is just managing material. So when you, the little tubing like this one inch stuff, it's not that big of a deal, but when you start building big things like roll cages, handrails, uh, things like that, you have a one and three quarters or a two inch piece of tube and that thing might be 15 feet long. So whenever you put it in there and you get your bend going, it's so much more manageable in terms of the weight and angle of material when you're going vertical. Yes, this is my opinion on it, but I, I definitely think vertical bending is easier to manage and it makes more sense in my head when I'm doing my tube layout and, and things like that or when I'm working with the tubing. But I don't know, do you guys agree with me? If any of you guys have used a bender before, what do you think is better, vertical or horizontal? Drop it down in the comments. My number three reason, extreme heavy duty. As I said earlier, this machine is capable of bending two inch quarter wall tubing, which takes an incredible amount of force to do, and it is thick. This thing is built heavy duty, and it is going to last and make bend after bend after bend. My original machine, it's still going strong and I still have the original die for it that I haven't changed out or done anything with and I don't even know how many bends I put on that thing, but these things are built to last. Number two reason I really like this machine, made in the USA, baby. It's hard to find tools, uh, good tools that are made in the USA anymore. This is American steel, American dies. You call the company up on the phone, you're gonna get Americans answering it. Yes, I know it's a Chinese Ram from Harbor Freight, but the guts of this machine that are gonna be lasting forever, made in the USA. And last but not least, one of my favorite things about this tubing bender, I could go past 90 degrees in a bend in a single shot. All right, we are at just about 93, 94 degrees on that and that's in one, one go. I could repin the machine and keep going and you know bend all the way up to 180 degrees on this die. So doing that in one shot, that is awesome and saves a ton of time. So that's it for this episode of the Reckless Wrench Garage. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried a little bit different format for this video review. Um, drop down in the comments what you guys thought about it. If you loved it, hate it, I don't know, Hit, it, hit me up down there. If you're in the market for a notcher or a bender, go to Rogue Fabrication, use code RECKLESSWRENCH22 on checkout to get a discount. I'm really stoked on this new machine. I can't wait to see what kind of new stuff I build with it in the future. And I'm really happy to work in with a company like Rogue Fabrication. I've been a big fan of their tools for a long time and I know you guys will not regret anything that you get from them. So check them out for sure. Thanks for hanging out in the shop with me today. Until next time, stay reckless.